Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio ALM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. I'm going to continue on the series of DevOps for Dynamics. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to debug uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM project. So let's see that. So I went for my machine uh, the virtual machine on Azure so um, I will use the same project I used in the hello world so if we go for this project and I go for the plugin where's the follow-up plugin so and I will come here for the execute plugin and I put a breakpoint then I will open the deployment manager and browse here to the CRM. I don't need this. And I will go for accounts and start creating new account. But before that, let me show you. This is a new account. Before that, what I need to do is just click debug, attach to process. And here I I must select show process from all user and the IIS running inside this process which is W3 WP exe and if we look at the service account or we can see that this local admin CRM services this is the same account we configure the CRM when we installing CRM get back to how to install CRM to understand this part if you would like to see that so I need to attach to this process there is another process also which is this is IIS process there is another one which is called sandbox CRM sandbox work process okay but it seems that I, I left the triple W so I need to select both of them yes now it's selected and attach now I, I go back here and start creating the so I will write here debug to and click save and as we can see this trigger the debugging Sometimes not all the value appear, so I need to add that to the watch and watch that. So, for example, I can add that to the watch and start looking at the value. But if I came here and start clicking step, next step, as we can see here, we can continue to debug that. Let me show you how I'm going to change. This is the message I want. Let me bring here. I will bring it here again and start adding here. Add it during the debug and continue. No, 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 no. continue just to debug and of course as we can see the context here and this is the debugging tool has completed so if I go for activities we can see that of course it's add two because I already add one and then I so this is add during the debug and we can see that we debugging and we also saw that the, the watcher show that the value of the context variable during the debugging so this is an easy way there is another way by using the profiler and on the server but i prefer this way because we have a developer machine and then we can debug in this way without interrupting the div master of the dynamics 365 at the end thank you for watching this video and please if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me on my blog mohammedadwan.com thank you